everyone, Zoe here today. I'm super excited to talk to you because this is one of my highly requested videos. And I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my suitcases, why I choose to use these two to carry my life around in, and some of my best packing tips. So this should help you if you have a trip coming up or if you just like to minimize your life even more. So let's get started. <laughs> off I just want to let you guys know that this video is being sponsored again by Surveo who are giving you the opportunity to win 100 USD all you have to do to enter is to download the free app from the Google Play Store or the App Store make yourself a one question survey and get yourself to 100 votes you can share your survey on social media to get more votes from friends and family and the app itself will just prompt you to vote on other people's surveys and will do the same for you so this week my survey I have put together is minimalism and I want to know about packing for travel and more specifically which category do you have the hardest time minimizing so I have on here bathing suits coats shoes dressy clothes bags pants shirts or toiletries please vote on my survey and please enter the contest and win yourself 100 USD just a small disclaimer if you've won the contest previously you can't win again but thank you all for entering and good luck so to start things off, I'll talk about my two suitcases and why I chose to get these ones. So I bought these from Carpisa in Termini Station in Roma, and I wanted, well red, I wanted red suitcases because I really like the color red, but I saw these, I instantly fell in love with them because I knew I wanted a hard shell case. Because as you know, luggage gets tossed around and I just feel like it's more protective and it also keeps things a lot more compact when traveling. Another aspect of these that I really like is that they roll all the way around, which means that I can push or pull them. And also in the larger suitcase here, I had the expanse option to expand this a little bit more to give me more space. Another thing I chose to get with both these suitcases is a little lock for them. And I'm really happy that I did this because when I first arrived in Toronto, my bags actually got mixed up with somebody else who had the same suitcase as me. I thought I was being a little bit different with these red ones, but there was another suitcase and we actually switched on accident. I grabbed her bag and she grabbed my bag, but I had a lock on here. So instantly, if she tried to get something out of her suitcase, she would know that it wasn't hers. And vice versa, I went to go open hers. Um, there was no lock, but I knew that this was not my belongings. Luckily though, I found her and we switched and we got our bags back with their right owners. And for this little one, this one is my carry-on. I actually do not check this one. That's why you'll see it does not have a fragile sticker on it. I always choose to ask for fragile stickers on my check bag because regardless of whether or not your items are fragile, your bag will be treated a lot better and it will also come out first. So in this small carry-on one, I also did want a compact case to protect things. This one also spins all the way around and it has a top handle if you just wanted to carry it and it also has this as well. So now for the fun part. I'm sure that you guys are dying to see what's inside and how I pack this to contain my entire life. So I'll push this one to the side and for now I'll show you the large one. Okay, here we go. So as you'll see, there are straps inside here and this is one of the features that I really like. Because I do have packing cubes underneath which I'll show you. But I like to fold up my backpack, which folds up quite small. And say I have the, my portable steamer in here and just some products that's a, for a client of mine. So underneath that, it just keeps everything just all the more compact to have these straps that just click in really nicely, just like that. So these are packing cubes. And these are very inexpensive. I bought them from Dollarama in Toronto, and I'm sure that you could find them in dollar stores around or maybe container stores or travel stores, things like that, but I paid between $2 and $1.50 for each of them. So they essentially compact many, many pieces of clothing if you roll them and put them into here. So I'm not going to unpack every one and show you what's inside, but what I will do is I'll show you what can fit in one. I'll choose this one here. So in here I have four items it looks like. I have a black pair of jeans. I have this jumper, which is like a jumpsuit, so it's a tank top on the top and a long floyd bottoms, and it's a bit more fancier. I have a long maxi dress, and I also have my other only pair of jeans. 
As you can see, this is kind of a, a lot of clothes. This is four pieces, but however, they are quite big. So I like to roll my clothes. I definitely recommend that for you as well. And if you do worry about things like wrinkles, you can also get a portable steamer, which I did show in another video. All you do is take this out, fill it with a little bit of water, plug it in, and you have yourself a steamer. I'll link my previous minimalism and how to keep things stylish video below so you guys can check that out if you want as well. I'm just going to roll all these items and show you how they can fit nicely back into the packing kit. And now as you can see I've rolled all four of these items. By rolling them I actually have a pile that's a lot more manageable but to make it even more manageable and organized in my entire suitcase of my life <laughs> I have the packing cube. So I'm going to place these items into the cube. And as you can see, they do kind of spill over the top there. But what the packing cube does, once you zip it up, is it compresses it all into the smaller size. So there you have it. Nice, compact packing cube with my two pairs of pants, a maxi dress, and a jumper. All in there. And I'm going to fit them right in here. So I'll lift this up quickly and I'm just going to show you that I have packing cubes of two different sizes here. I have a bigger square and I have a smaller little rectangle looking one. Here is we have bra and panties which we're not going to go into detail about. And an, another aspect of the suitcase I really love is the fact that it has this zipper to separate the different sections of the suitcase. So I can just peel back this layer here and I have my other belongings inside. All right. So I have a bag of my bigger toiletries, which contains the sunscreen, dry shampoo, things like that. And I have my sweater here, which is a little bit big, but necessary. It would probably take up about half of a packing cube or something like that. So that's why I choose to have this one out. And as well, say if I'm at the airport or wherever I'm cold, I can just quickly go in and grab my sweater. That being said, I also have a windbreaker in there as well, just for easy access. Now in here. <laughs> I have my toiletries, which I actually have in these beautiful vegan leather bags that I got from the Ethical Market, which I'll be sure to link below because I am very happy with them. Vegan leather and they store so much of my belongings, not to mention they fit nice and compact organized into my suitcase. So I have this one for my toiletries, like my facial products and shampoo, conditioner, all that good stuff, which you might think, wow, that's quite a lot to have. For traveling but it is essentially everything I own and everything I could need so like shaving my legs things like that all of it is in here and I also have this one which is full of my makeup this is the makeup I use every day all the makeup that I need fits nice and compact into here and of course they match and they're super pretty <laughs> so then in here I have my podcast mic which is new, which is probably giving away a secret that's coming soon. And I also have this pair of shoes, which are wedges, and they're a little bit more fancy. My only kind of really uh, heeled pair of shoes, but they're also the shoes for Jen's wedding, which is coming up. So I actually uh, exchanged the pair of heels that I had. I gave them to Jen. I got this new pair to match all of her bridesmaids for her wedding, and so now they're my fancy shoes. If this little bag, this is my little bag of jewelry that I have. So a couple watches and some little necklaces, which I'm sure you've all probably seen in my videos. And I have a pair of sandals here. And in here I have a packing cube full of workout clothes. I have minimized this especially quite a bit. And I'm really happy with what I bought because I've just now decided to stick to either black, I have one blue sports bra, but all black uh, workout items, and a little bit of white, so it makes my laundry a little bit easier, if that's another little tip. So I'm gonna put all this back in, and I'm going to show you my little carry-on. There's one! <laughs> so now for my little carry-on. So I love this carry-on, like I said, because it has a hard shell, easy to carry, and it also has great organizational features inside. In my carry-on, I like to keep kind of the more heavier items and allow the larger suitcase to be lighter with clothing. So I'll show you what's inside of this one so far. And like I said, this one varies. Like you'll see books in here, but books never really last too long with me. I pass them on, or I have borrowed these or received them as gifts, and once I read them, I will pass them on again. So inside this one as well, you can see it has the organizational features of the clip and also the zippered section to separate things. 
So on this side right now, I have my jean jacket. I have a pillow, which I just put in for the video. Normally it would be shoes here. But this is one of those neck pillows for the plane, which my friend Michaela just gave me. So thank you, Michaela. It's going to help me sleep on my next destination, which is a little bit farther away. <laughs> so also in here, I have this bag, which is just my tennis shoes. And I have my jean jacket, which isn't essential to me, but it does take up quite a bit of space. That's why it goes in here. And I have an umbrella. And now on for this other section, which... I like how this has a zippered section because these items that I'm about to show you just kind of slide around and spill around a little bit so this helps them stay in there. So I have vitamins and things, I have a box of cords and converters, a pair of flip flops, I have a books here which is Italian verbs, <laughs> I have a journal and a couple books that I'll be reading and passing on and then I also have portable hard drive and just electronics that I need to have. Now you're probably wondering well, where's your camera and where is your laptop, things like that. So I do have a tote which I choose to have as a carry-on and that acts as my purse. So basically it holds my wallet, it holds my laptop, it holds my small G7X camera and the one that you're looking at right now which is a larger one, it's an Icon Coolpix. Sorry, the one that I'm filming with right now. That one actually has its own little bag, so normally, I mean, knock on wood, every time I go through, I just have the tote, and I also carry the Nikon in its own separate little bag, and it seems to be fine, because the Nikon could essentially fit itself into that other tote if they really want me to only have one bag. So this one rides on the airplane with me, and you know, you just put it in that overhead luggage, and it's light and compact for me to get off the airplane. It's also very convenient, the fact that I can push it or pull it. The wheels are very functional in all different directions, so it's not like I'm hitting everybody on my way out of the airplane. <laughs> it's also easy to get down the little stairs if you're on an airplane that has stairs on the way out. This bag is also really amazing for weekend trips and getaways, so if you're taking the train or say you're going on a small flight for the weekend or a few days, you can generally fit everything in here. Just be sure that you have your smaller like 100 mil, 150 mil sizes of shampoo and conditioner, things that you might need like that. All right, guys, so I hope this video inspired you to minimize your life down to the size of maybe a couple suitcases or at least just helped you out on your next trip. These are a few of my favorite traveling and packing tips, so I hope it helped you minimize. And don't forget to enter the Surreo contest to win yourself 100 USD. All it takes is the first person to get to 100 votes, screenshot it, and send it to me, and best of luck. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I love you so much and I'll see you very soon.